The most shocking fact about bronchiectasis is that it represents a permanent, irreversible demolition of the lung's architecture. It's not just the inflammation that can heal, it's the physical destruction of the airways, turning them into flabby, scarred areas can never function normally again. It's irreversible. So the destruction is the result of vicious, a self-perpetuating cycle known as the vicious cycle hypothesis. It starts with an initial injury like a severe childhood pneumonia, not normally treated, cystic fibrosis or an immune deficiency. The damage, the damage the, the, that damages the cilia and airway walls. So we have impaired mucus clearance. The, the damaged airways can no longer effectively clear mucus. And we have a mucus stagnation as well. So mucus pools in, in the delayed airways, creating the perfect breeding ground for bacteria. So surfactant problem. Huh? Chronic infection and inflammation. We have a bacteria, a bacteria colonized the stagnant mucus, triggering a massive and relentless inflammatory response from the body's neutrophils. Airway destruction as well. So, the powerful enzymes and inflammatory mediators released by the neutrophils to fight the infection cause, collateral damage, further destroying the elastic fibers and cartilage in the airway wall, uh, walls. And we have got to also worsening dilation. This, this destruction leads to even more dilation and scarring, which further impairs mucus clearance and cycle repeats spiraling downward. So it's a one-way street. Once a bronchus is permanently dilated and scarred, it cannot be repaired. The damage is done. The goal of treatment is not to cure the bronchitis, but to break the vicious cycle by aggressively cleaning mucus and controlling infection to prevent further destruction. So the lungs becomes like a swamp. The dilated airways essentially become internal. Internal swamps, uh, warm, wet, stagnant environments, perfect for chronic bacterial growth. This is why patients have a chronic productive cough, often producing copious amounts of purulent pus like sputum, sputum daily. Uh, a, a classic, though no less common with better treatment, sign of severe bronchiectasis is the three layered sputum cup. If a patient's sputum is collected in a clear glass, it will settle into three distinct layers, a frothy top layer, a watery middle layer, and a dense purulent bottom layer. This is visually demonstrates the sheer volume of infection and debris being produced in the lungs.